Hey guys, welcome back to another flashlight review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Ace Beam T35. It's a new tactical flashlight just released, just off the production line from Ace Beam. And for those of you who've watched my channel for a while, you would know that I've reviewed the Ace Beam P16. And though it's a great light, I find I don't really carry it around so often due to that larger head. And these narrower tube style flashlights just tend to be ones that I hold on to more these days. So I was quite excited to find out that Ace Beam had just released this new T35. So yeah, smaller bezel, excellent long range performance, especially for the, the size as well. And in many ways, it reminds me of the Phoenix PD35, but there are some significant differences too that you want to be aware of. So make sure you hang around. Now Ace Beam offer this light in two different colors. So you've got black, it's the one I have here. And you've also got another color called Coyote and it's kind of like a greenish slash brown color. I've never actually heard of the, the name of that color before. I had to, you had to look it up, but yeah, I end up getting more conservative black and it does come in two tints as well. So 5,000 and 6,000. 500k so my t35 comes with the 5000k sft 40 in there it's a little bit warmer a little easier on the eyes so let's have a look at what you get in the box okay so this is the box that the t35 comes in and some of the specifications here on the front on the back as well typical sort of ace beam box nothing too special you do get an instruction manual okay very simple instruction manual and you've also got warranty card a certification card as well and i was actually surprised that this light comes with quite a few different accessories so they give you a nice holster okay a nylon holster and looks and feels quite well built you know sometimes you get those holsters that have bits of thread and stuff running off them it definitely feels like a decent decent quality one you've got a lanyard as well and uh, personally i don't really use lanyards and and holsters too much okay but if you're in law enforcement or if you yeah you basically need to have this around your belt because you've got so much stuff you're carrying on you it's good that ace beam have included it and you've also got two spare o-rings here and also a spare gasket so that's for the usb-c charging gasket that's something new and you've also got a usb-c charging cable and a 2600 milliamp hour 18650 battery it's a button top cell and it does have a protection circuit in there as well thankfully Alrighty, so here are a few other of my tactical flashlights as well as another Ace Beam flashlight that I thought I'd compare the T35 to. And I reckon the most obvious comparison is between the T35 and the Phoenix PD35. Both have that side switch and a single switch there in the back. The Ace Beam's just a lot larger switch for sure. Uh, but they're roughly the same size. I do notice the Ace Beam has a bit of, more of a chunkier head, which I actually prefer as long as it doesn't jut out too much, which uh, it doesn't. It's just going to add a little bit extra material there to heat sink the light. You've also got the Phoenix PD35R. I think it's probably, you know, if we look at the actual size of the bodies, it's yeah, very similar to both of these lights. It's got the Ace Beam M2, Convoy S, eight as well it's a little bit larger and uh, here i've got my nightcore mh 12 se which is pretty much the smallest tactical flashlight 21700 tactical flashlight and yeah you can see it is a little bit chunkier and longer but yeah almost similar size to the t35 all right here's a little close-up of the ace beam t35 and as always with ace beam they've just got excellent build quality. I've always been impressed with their quality control and just the construction of all the lights that I've reviewed from Ace Beam. And the T35, as you can see, it's got this sleek, military-like look to it. That's actually my favorite style when it comes down to these tactical flashlights. The more practical they are, the better. And there's no rough spots, no flaws in the machining. 
I mean, it's just, yeah, fantastic. And you notice there are some cutouts on the body as well. We've got some cutouts on the head. Allows for better heat sinking. There's this checkered knurling as well, which adds a lot of grip on top of this matte black anodizing. And the great thing about this anodizing is Ace Beam have started to use a much more grippier kind of anodizing. So yeah, definitely feel the difference between a lot of those sort of shinier anodized flashlights compared to this one. On the back here, you've got a chunky looking clip. Okay, it's got some heft to it, that's for sure. Some glossy paint on it as well, and you've got a lanyard hole down in the end. I don't really use lanyards with tactical lights. I just I just clip it into my pocket rather than have something hanging off it, but it, it is there if you want to take that option. And it also, of course, takes 18650 cells, but the cool thing is that it also accepts CR123 primaries, and I think that is... I mean, that's one of the best features that you can get on these tactile lights because sometimes you might run out of, you know, run out of juice while you're on the road. And having the access to those primary cells just makes this light, you know, much more powerful, especially in an emergency situation. On the back, you've also got this onboard charging port. So it's a USB C charging. Okay. And the port cover does feel fairly solid, maintains a nice seal. Reminds me of the one on that E75 flashlight. It's got a screw there as well that sort of attaches in. If you lose it, there is a spare one available. A little close up here of the side switch. And it has a really nice looking design. Look at that. Also functions, it's metal by the way, it's aluminium. Also has battery indicator in the center there. It just glows a very faint green. I've noticed it doesn't turn off, just stays on the whole time, which I don't mind if it doesn't take up too much battery power like this one, because it's just such a dim, dim sort of green. It does, I believe, change and flash a little bit. It does change to red as the battery voltage starts to go down. On the back of the light, you've got this large tactical tail switch. Basically just a protruding rubber tail switch. You can't tail stand it because of that. And you know, some people prefer it because it just means that it's much easier to find that switch. Sometimes you have switches that are recessed in there and you might, yeah, might just be a little bit harder to get to it. I've never had that issue myself. And yeah, you've got springs as well on underneath the head and behind. Uh, just underneath the tail cap as well, which is good. You know, helps with shock absorption, recoil. Peek under the bezel here, and you can see it's got that SFT40 white gasket down the base. Find that white gaskets are a little bit better at reflecting light. And smooth reflector. Mineral glass lens. And something cool is that they've got this stainless steel bezel here coated with uh, just black paint. That's definitely going to help for breaking a window, self-defense. Alrighty, so I want to talk a little bit about the UI. And have I mentioned to you guys before that I just really love simple UIs? Well, you do know now, and definitely the T35 is as simple as you can get. Okay, basically you just press that tail switch. You need to press the tail switch, otherwise that button, that side switch is not going to work. So the tail switch has to be on first, okay? And then you basically just press to press once to step up. So there's basically five modes. So eco, low, medium, high, turbo. You want it to memorize turbo, turn it off, okay, and then turn it back on. Okay, while you had turbo on before, you can get it to memorize whichever mode, even this lower mode there. Okay, so there is one step access to turbo, which is so important in a tactical light. And another thing is there's a hidden mode. So just press and hold while the light is on and you get a constant 15 hertz strobe. All right, so I ran a couple of ceiling bounce tests to see how the T35 performs. And you can see here, I've run it on turbo and fantastic performance. You get over two minutes of runtime on turbo and it's about 90 to 100% output before the light steps down. I think that is really impressive. 
you know, for a light of this size, you know, 1,900 lumens, if you have that cool white version as well, and steps down to about a 40% output, which I'd estimate to be about seven to 800 lumens. The manual states that as well, and basically just holds that output for the rest of the test. A second ceiling bounce test on the high mode. So this is really a nice sustainable mode, super bright as well, and basically got between 95 to 100% output for the entire duration of the test. Okay, so here are a bunch of tests that I ran with my Opal Lightmaster Pro, and you can see on turbo mode, measured 355 meters of throw. Really impressive, like I said, for a flashlight with such a small bezel, even on the high mode, it throws over 200 meters, nearly 250 meters, very impressive. TRI ranged from 63 to 66, so definitely on the low end, but that's something to be expected with these type of LEDs, which are designed for visibility. CCT ranged from 4,100 to 5,400K. So yeah, definitely a lot more warmer on the lower modes for some reason, but yeah, it's noticeably warmer than my 6,500K flashlights. The Ace Beam T35 produces a perfectly circular and even hotspot. There's no donut hole, anything like that. I really like that it's hotspot is pretty large as well because it does illuminate a wider area. So you can see the surrounding bits and pieces. It's also got some decent spill just due to that SFT40. I think the SFT40 is the best option to pick when you're going for one of these small tactile flashlights. It's just the best combination of flood and throw. All right, so some considerations to be aware of before you purchase this light now it does come with a 2600 milliamp hour cell surprised by that because i see a lot of other brands include at least a 3000 milliamp hour cell but you know yeah wish they included something like that but again you can just pick up another battery like the samsung 30q that's going to work in it as well the port cover as well that is something that i know some of you don't really like myself included so yeah more of a design thing but it is good that it's has a decent seal on it as well. Would be nice to see Ace Beam at some stage maybe implement an under the bezel charging feature where you can unscrew the bezel and charge. I've seen that on some other flashlights. I really like that design. Another consideration is the price. So this is definitely going to cost you more than twice as much as one of those budget tactical flashlights, say like a Workhouse FC12. Still one of my favorites, but you know, in return, you do get better quality overall. You know, as you can see with the construction, better performance, regulated output. So it is worth the extra money that you're paying. Third consideration is, of course, this side switch. And I know some tactical flashlight enthusiasts don't like side switches on their lights. And I see where they're coming from because it could lead you to accidentally changing the brightness while you have the light on. I mean, I'm just holding it with one hand, so I think it's very unlikely myself but yeah a light with one mode is which is what you know purists sort of look at one mode 100 percent i think that's not really practical for most people including myself and some lights i think the well one of the well tool lights it just has a 100 percent mode it just blasts out nearly 2000 lumens you know i like being able to switch to some of these lower modes like this one here for you know other tasks around the house maybe if i just need to read something up close I think it just makes it a much more usable and versatile flashlight. Overall, I am super impressed with the Ace Beam T35 in it. It's about time Ace Beam came up with their own 18650 tube style tactical light that also has a slim bezel, something that people can carry around without really feeling in their pocket. And after reviewing about 100 plus lights, I'd find these style of lights like the Ace Beam T35, they're the ones that I actually carry around and go back to, you know, the ones that I use most just due to that balance of comfort and performance. Decent heat sinking as well. And as you know, brightness, it always comes at the cost of a large bezel. So you see most of these lights kind of top out at 2000 lumens. I think the T35 is as good of an option as the Phoenix PD35, which is kind of like the classic tactical flashlight of this style out there and i think that says a lot because the phoenix pd35 is in my top five tactical lights and i would gladly swap this one in for the pd35 i mean there's also some additional features like that crenulated bezel 
as well. And just the fact that switch is a lot larger, easier to find. Very difficult for me to fault this light. I think it's fantastic. I'd recommend it if you're looking for a high-performing, pocketable tactile flashlight with all the bells and whistles. So if you are interested, go ahead and check out the link in the description. I've got a discount voucher there for the T35. If you have questions as well, just let me know down below in the comments and I will get back to you and probably missed out things here and there. If you like this video as well, do me a big favor and click the like button because that's about the only way that YouTube recommends my videos. And if you want to see more flashlight reviews, keep up to date with the latest news, make sure you subscribe. Ace Beam T35 on turbo. Really nice round beam. And surprisingly, a lot of spill too. It does start, you know, roughly maybe six or seven feet in front of me. As most sort of throwy tactical lights are like. But yeah, quite impressive reaching all the way to the to the end of that oval. And we'll go through all the other modes as well. So that's the lowest mode here. Step two. And you know, even step two, this is bright enough to to see ahead of me 20, yeah, maybe 20 plus meters. Even gets to the center of that field, this oval quite easily. Step three. And third step reaching down to the back fairly easily. Step four, and this is a sustained output, so this does not step down, does not reduce in brightness at all. And then you've got turbo, which surprisingly lasts two plus minutes without step down. Really, really bright. It's just lighting up this entire oval. I'll go for a little bit of a walk so you can see the beam pattern. Ace Beam T35, this is on turbo. We'll cycle through the different modes. Little path here, so more of a short range beam shot. You can see the beam profile on the trees as well. First step, second step. Second step is decent enough to use as walking light. Third step. Fourth step, and fifth step. Go for a little walk, so you can see the beam profile. 